We've looked at multiplying with exponents and have a rule for dealing with that. But let's just um, have a quick look at what happens in slightly more complicated examples where you've got different letters and you also have some coefficients. OK, quick reminder of our words. 5 and negative 4 are coefficients. Um, and then also the other reminder is if we've just got two sets of brackets like this written next to each other with no sign written in between them, we mean multiply. multiply. So what do we have here? If I write it out, this is what I'm going to get. OK, and at this point, I note that the fact that I've just got bracket, multi bracket with bracket means it's just multiplied. So really what I've got is a whole long string of things multiplied together. So there's the whole long string of things that I have multiplied together. Now what can I do to kind of sort that out and simplify it? Well, 5 and negative 4 are just ordinary numbers. And so I can multiply them together. 5 times negative 4 gives me negative 20. Then if I have a look, I've got a whole lot of p's. And I can see that I've got 4 p's and a further 2 p's multiplied together. So I've got 6 p's all multiplied together. And then with the q's, I've got here um, 3 q's and then a further 1 q. And so in total, I have 4 q's all multiplied together. Obviously, we don't want to have to write everything out every time. We can, in fact, do it in a much simpler way. And that way is to take note and say, OK, all of this is just multiplied together. So I've got 5 multiplied by negative 4, and that is negative 20. And then I have p to the 4 multiplied by p squared. And so that is going to be p to the 4 plus 2. And I have q cubed multiplied by q to the power of 1. So that's going to be q to the power of 3 plus 1. And so I've got minus 20 p to the 6 q to the 4. OK, one for you to try yourself just to check you've got it. Pause the video, try it now. OK, so ordinary numbers, negative 2 and negative 3 multiplied together give me, oh, I need a pen, give me 6. And then what I've got is c to the 5 and c to the 4 multiplied together. So I'm going to have 5 c's multiplied together and a further 4 c's multiplied together. And then with the d's, same story. I've got 7 d's multiplied together and a further 2 d's multiplied. And so what I end up with is the following.